Hello, I'm Lars von Bihar. Let's grill a hanger steak. Okay, so hanger steak consists of two pieces, one smaller and one bigger, and in between there is a connective tissue that is really tough and it needs to be removed. But just go slowly and follow it through the steak and you will be able to remove it. So here I'm cutting it away and also removing any excess silver skin and fat that I find, but it's not much on here. It was really well butchered. Anyway, and then I'm seasoning this with um, a little bit of Weber Chicago steak seasoning and some pink Himalayan salt and I'm letting it rest before putting it on the grill for about two hours. Once outside, uh, once that's resting, I'm lighting the grill and I'm preparing the veggies. So I'm using Swedish butter, of course, and then I've got a pointy cabbage uh, that I'm gonna use about a third of. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep it, the outer layers whole, and then using the tip of a knife, I'm just gonna chop it up in the middle. That's just to let the butter that I'm gonna put on here melt through a little bit easier. Then I go with a couple of uh, Brussels sprouts that I'm having, a couple of stalks of uh, the stalky broccoli, and just putting that at the bottom. On top of this, butter to taste. I'm using a bit because I like it and I need it. And then uh, I'm gonna season this with uh, onion powder, garlic powder, pink Himalayan salt, and Mrs. Dash no salt herbal seasoning. Okay, the grill is hot and I'm putting the veggies on. The vents are open fully on one side and closed there on the go. other. So, now we're gonna put this on. We're gonna do them over direct. Something like so. See what they look like. Starting to get some color. I'll flip them over. I'll put a bit of lid back on for a little bit. See what we have. Flipping them again. Okay, I'm gonna take a little piece off. Now, it's about 1.30. I'm gonna take that one off as well. It's gonna carry over. Okay, bringing this inside and I'll show you what we have. There we go. Um, as you can see on the hanger steak, the fibers are kind of going this way. And on this little piece, not as easily discernible, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference because it's such a small piece. But anyway, this piece, I'm actually gonna cut it in half. And this is what we have. Pinky pinky. And then I'm gonna cut it along the long side. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I've got some melted butter and garlic in it. I'm just gonna drizzle that on there. There we go. Hanger steak on the go anywhere. Mm. That is just so good. It's got a very beefy, nice flavor and you can understand why it's called the butcher's secret or the butcher's steak. Um, it really, really is good. So if you get your hands on a hanger steak, just pick it up. I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you for watching, bye.